The University of Iowa is an anchor of the surrounding community, a major employer, economic center, and consumer of land and energy resources. As such, UI planners develop the campus with a long-term view. As we look at approaching our work in a more sustainable fashion, in a more strategic fashion, we have realized for several years now that we need to take an integrated approach to the way we take care of this physical asset. So the decisions we make today will be decisions that we live with for decades to come. Buildings have a profound impact on the environment and the economy. In the United States alone, buildings account for 65% of electricity consumption, 36% of energy use, and 30% of greenhouse gases, raw material use, and waste output. As a community unto itself, an urban campus like Iowa incorporates sustainability into its operations. That's the primary role and the primary definition of, of stewardship, building stewardship. And if you are an organization that works off of strategies and goals, stewardship becomes your number one responsibility. This philosophy of stewardship and reinvestment has long informed Iowa's campus plan. In our master plan, we talk about building infill, trying to make the most of the existing buildings and then using those sites to their maximum. When we do make decisions on whether or not to keep a building, to maintain or modernize a building, or possibly replace a building, it has a lot to do with the energy associated with that building. Those kinds of things are the things we look at for the long term because we're in it for the long term. To practice sustainable development, the university meets growth needs with environmentally friendly buildings and designs. I get involved in a lot in reviewing project designs when they're in the planning stage and I look at, you know, can we reach the lights, can we get to the air handlers and the pumps and, you know, all these little decisions that we make that can make everything better for both our users, for our staff, and, and ultimately for the environment. LEED is the nationally recognized benchmark for the design, construction, and operation of high-performance green buildings. One of several LEED projects at Iowa is the new College of Public Health Academic Building, which will feature green technology like reflective roofing, natural lighting, permeable pavement, and native species planting areas. We look not only to get the stamp on the door of a building that's lead, but to reap the benefits of those for years and generations to come in lower energy costs and as, in a larger sense, a greener world, less energy use by each of these buildings. Sustainable planning at Iowa goes beyond the built environment as well, emphasizing green space, pedestrian pathways, and celebrating the natural landscape. The campus's defining feature, the Iowa River, took on greater significance with the flood of 2008, which ravaged university buildings and devastated communities in eastern Iowa. For some, the flood of 2008 highlighted the role the river plays in Iowa's sustainability story. The Iowa River watershed is about 12,500 square miles. It's a very big chunk of territory. Maybe 750 to 800,000 people live within it. The flood and the likelihood of future floods is an indicator that our way of life in this watershed is not sustainable. Larry Weber is director of Iowa's Hydro Science Engineering Group and co-chairs a task force to find long-term solutions to local flooding. Uh, after the 2008 flood, there have been many strategies to try to mitigate uh, flooding in the future. Oftentimes those are very serious engineered solutions, and we are taking a slightly different approach, knowing that we can't engineer a mitigation program that will protect us from all floods, and that there may be future floods that exceed the design uh, of those flood mitigation concepts. So we really want people to focus more on adapting to and living with floods. Author and historian Connie Mutel wrote about Iowa's natural environment in the Emerald Horizon and believes we can look to the past as inspiration for a more sustainable place. The main theme in Emerald Horizon is that Iowa's landscape at one time, not so very long ago, uh, 1830s and before, was a completely sustainable landscape. Iowa's prairies and woodlands, they had covered the state since the retreat of the last glaciers about the last 9,000 years. Our landscape is now two-thirds covered by two species of plants, and anyone who understands ecology at all would say that is not sustainable. For many, the floods were a wake-up call, an opportunity to do things differently. I think that Iowa has the possibility of becoming an example for 
reintegrating sustainability into the land in a big way, simply because we've taken it out in such a big way. We can go the other direction as well. And that gives me a lot of hope. If sustainability means seeking balance between natural and man-made environments, then it also means finding longer-term, renewable solutions to power our communities.